guys, it's Brian here, and uh, so today I'm going to be working on my air compressor. The I have a Fire Harbor Freight U.S. General Air Security 5 horsepower air compressor, and um, my switch went out. Uh, this switch controls whether the motor runs or not. Um, compressor is about 10 years old, so I feel like I've gotten a good... Uh, good run out of it and um, so what I'm going to do is take it apart, remove it and install a Telemechanique um, by Square D and um, it's not that hard of a project um, so first things first let me get the power turned off let me get some access to this and we'll get started all right so now that we've got this we're going to undo the electrical and put this loose and then we're going to start taking this apart So I've added some light. It's magnetic, but there's not a lot to be magnetic with, so I'm gonna clamp it here. We're getting to the bottom of the, uh, the air tank, which is important. challenges here is I, I just I have trouble getting Alright, so I'm going to go after this gauge next. Let me get a wrench.
definitely a little puff of air coming out of here. All right. So now we need to get the cable out for the motor. There is another little um, fitting here that needs to come out. It's a pressure fitting for the bleed valve. All right, so we're going to deal with that in a minute. The uh, unloader valve comes to this push to connect fitting right here, and so we're going to get this undone now. I don't know how this is held in. So, normally, the way this works is you push in on the fitting and you pull out on the hose at the same time. I don't feel like I quite have enough space there, so we'll... So, I don't believe we need that fitting again. So the other way you do this, just come in here like this and break it off. And now that fitting's loose. minute uh, send this to recycling 
and what's wrong with this is these contacts here um, just simply go bad and they stop functioning. Um, this is a LeFou switch. Uh, it's it's just a lower end brand. I'm gonna probably salvage the poppet valve because that's kind of nice. So I'll be right back. All right, so now let's work on this. So normally you push in on these and that pops off and now we can throw this away. So this is the new switch and what's different about it, so it has an unloader but it doesn't have a port for a um, pressure gauge. So no big deal. I'll add one. So this will go like this and then that gives us a port here and this that we took out should go in yeah because all this stuff's quarter inch so we'll recreate exactly what was there now this switch is a lot more expensive um, but this is a square D telemechanique so it's an industrial switch this is not uh, still probably made in China because everything else is made there with slave labor but uh, oh, sorry we shouldn't call it slave it's forced um, but anyway, this this is what we're going to use, and so we'll undo this, and this should give us the cover. And then we have a nice clean terminal block here, um, and we have exposed contacts where we can see them, so we can see they're, they're decent. We can actually clean them if we needed to. And I'm guessing that it's A and B for the sides. Yeah, so this is just a really nice, clean pressure adjustment screw, so your on-off pressure can be adjusted. And essentially, the way this works is uh, this pushes and opens this, and when it drops down, it, it triggers that and, and causes it to close. So anyway, let's get started on installing this. Uh, so here's the action so you can see it. And I don't have clamps, so one of them will be able to reuse. I'll have to, I'll either salvage one or install another one. I have a gazillion of these things. So anyway, let's get started on the installation. Oh, and I forgot to mention, so this one has a ferrule type uh, unloader, so we'll take that off and we'll put on a, um, a 90 degree that, that, I mean, these are all standard little air fittings and um, it's not a big deal. All right, so you can use Teflon tape, but Teflon paste is a superior alternative in my opinion. So that's Teflon paste. It's the liquid form of the other. So we'll go ahead and put this on. And I'm using brass, which is not that expensive. Um, steel is cheaper, but in my opinion, brass is better. And Teflon tape versus Teflon paste is the same thing. So. Teflon tape is cheaper, but Teflon paste is better because you generally just don't have to screw with it again. So that's that. Now 
Now, when you work with a gauge, you want to be careful not to get it in the hole, because if you do, yeah, your gauge isn't going to work right. And don't twist it by the gauge housing. So if you twist it here, you're going to break the gauge. You don't want to do that. If the manufacturers could make it that strong, they would, and they don't, and that's why they've left you some metal on the outside. That's more than enough. Alright, so we're going to pull this off and throw that in recycling. And we'll get some pipe dope on this. you don't want it, it's not the end of the world. You just wipe it off. That doesn't look like much, but it's plenty. Yeah, I'm going to add a little bit more. with this piece so we're going to go ahead and remove the ferrule and see if we can get on here. A side mounted unit would have been better. Alright so might have to redo this. We'll see here. All right, so we 
we've got power that needs to be dealt with, and then we've got um, the relief. Let me find the relief fitting and I'll be right back. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this back together. Um, I don't have the fitting I need, so I had to order it. Um, it'll be in eventually. the best way to do these connections but it appears that it will work. Um. Let me get a clamp for that. Alright, so we got this. That's not enough. So let's go ahead and open it up.
volt system um, white and black don't carry a lot of significance and unfortunately copper tends to work harden over time so it's being obstinate to put it nicely this is one of the disadvantages of solid copper wiring any copper wiring, to be honest. Right, well, let's see if we can get this. You know, you got to get it back off. I need to still pick it in here. You would think that they would standardize, but you know, Schneider is not what it used to be. They used to, Square D used to be top of the line, and now it's actually dirt. I'm increasingly thinking that they're trash. still good it's just the execution that's bothering me um, square d has become obsessed with cheap electrical has some things to teach us and one of the things that teaches us is that the companies focused on cheap don't last oh yeah I could have turned this a long time ago because the compressor just sits here but I was trying not to
kind of terminals I think they are. I was hoping they were better terminals, but they're not. See if we can get that on there. All right, so I think that's going to work. Uh, the cover needs to stay off until we get it running because I need to adjust it and check the pressures. But these are done. And, all right, so it's going to stay apart until I get the um, the adapter for this and get this on, and then I can test the pressures. Um, if I was fired up right now, it would just leak, um, so I'm not going to do that. And uh, that's all for now. Um, I guess I'll clean this mess out from under here. Um, but there's not a whole lot else to do at this point uh, that's not routine shop maintenance, and that's not worth filming. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video.